So today we're gonna to get into something that can potentially make your life a whole lot easier and that's Apple Pay. This is something you definitely want to take advantage of if you have or are thinking about getting an Apple device, especially if you're looking for a faster way to pay for things and if you're anything like me and don't want to carry around a bunch of credit cards all the time. So we're going to get into how to set it up on your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your iPad and Mac. So go ahead and grab what you need and let's get into it. First up, what actually is Apple Pay? Probably the best way to think of it is as a digital wallet that's made to store your debit and credit card information. The best part is that once you have it set up, you can use Apple Pay to make purchases in person just by tapping your device to a card reader or by authenticating your account while buying something online. So there's no more need to dig around your wallet or your purse for a physical card. It's super easy. But one thing you should note is that Apple Pay is different from Apple Cash and Apple Wallet. Apple Cash is kind of like a debit card where you can store money and use it to pay for things or send money to people like you would with Venmo and PayPal. Apple Wallet is the name of the app where your digital cards, tickets, and passes live on your iPhone. And Apple Pay is more of a system to store your credit and debit cards you already have from banks like Discover, Capital One, Chase, that sort of thing. Okay, so how do you actually set Apple Pay up? Let's start with the basics. First, you need a compatible Apple device. This will be iPhones and iPads with Face ID or Touch ID, and Apple Watch Series 1 and later. With Macs, you either need one that can be used with Touch ID or one made in 2012 or later that can be connected to an Apple Watch or iPhone that already has Apple Pay set up. You'll also need a debit or credit card from a bank that plays nice with Apple Pay. Most major banks already work with it, but there still may be a few that don't, so it might be worth checking with your bank beforehand. And you'll also need an internet connection for the initial setup and an Apple ID. But the good news is if you're using an Apple device, you probably already have one. All right, so first up, let's get into setting up Apple Pay on an iPhone. So go ahead and grab your phone and open the Wallet app. It should already be on your phone, but if not, you can go ahead and redownload it from the App Store. Once you open it, tap the little plus sign in the top right corner of the screen. If you've done this process before, you can go ahead and tap the previous card section at the top of the screen and re-add an old card from there. But if you're entering a card for the very first time, just hit add a debit or credit card right here. Press continue and you'll get a prompt with a few options to enter your card information. You can either enter things manually or the easiest way, simply hold your card near your phone and it should automatically add the info on its own. And once you get the card added, your bank more than likely will ask you for some type of verification. They might send you a text or email or they might ask you to download their app to confirm your information there. If that happens, just follow the steps and once it's done, your card should be ready to use on your iPhone. So the next time you're at a store that accepts Apple Pay, you can pull out your iPhone, double tap the side button, and choose a card you wanna use from the list that pops up. Then just hold it up to the card reader and you should be good to go. That's pretty much all the steps you need for iPhone, but if you have an Apple Watch, you can add Apple Pay there too. So let's check that out next. Okay, for this, you'll need both your Apple Watch and your iPhone. So go ahead and put your Apple Watch on if it's not already, then head to your iPhone and open the Watch app. When you have that open, make sure you're in the section that says My Watch. From there, find and open the Wallet and Apple Pay section, and then you'll see a list of cards that you've added to Apple Pay using your iPhone. And just in case if you haven't done that already, go ahead and go to the previous section of this video. So if you already have some cards added to your phone, all you have to do is tap Add Card on the ones you want to have on your watch. After you pick your cards, give it about a minute to load, and you should get a notification on your watch that it's been added. So just like iPhone, when you need to pay for things in person, you can just double click the side button on your watch to bring up the cards you've added. What's really cool is that this will work on your watch even if you left your iPhone at home. Okay, now let's cover iPad and Mac, which should be just as easy as the past steps. Let's start off with how to set up Apple Pay on iPad. So once you have your iPad, head to the settings app and scroll down until you see Wallet and Apple Pay. Select that and pick Add Card. From there, you can add an old or new card. And just like iPhone and Apple Watch, you will likely have to verify your bank information to complete the setup. Okay, so now on to Mac, which is pretty much the same thing, but with some slight differences. So on your Mac, go to the Apple menu in the top left corner of your screen and pick System Settings. Then find Wallet and Apple Pay. From there, pick Add Card you'll see a list of cards that were added to your iPhone, which you can then add to your Mac by following the prompts. Or you can enter a brand new card by selecting add a different card. Once you have that set up, you should be able to buy things online without typing in your card info, as long as the store accepts Apple Pay. 
So when you're ready to make a purchase online, you'll just need to confirm it during checkout, either by using Touch ID on your keyboard, entering your Mac password, or by confirming the purchase with your Apple Watch or iPhone if you don't have Touch ID on your keyboard. Okay, so if you made it this far and something isn't working, make sure to check that you're signed into iCloud and that your phone has Touch ID, Face ID, or a passcode set up. Also, if you're in a country with certain restrictions like China, Apple Pay might not work. So make sure to double check if you have plans to travel in the future. It's also possible that you have an older iPhone that might not be compatible with Apple Pay. If so, it might be time to upgrade and Navi can help you out with that with our phone deal finder. By answering a few questions about what you're looking for, we'll help you compare all the best deals on the smartphone you want. And if you're looking for a new plan, Navi's plan finder can help you there too. With it, you can compare plans from all the top carriers so you can find the one that best fits your needs. We'll add links to both in the description. Okay, so that pretty much covers everything. Hopefully Apple Pay will be one of those things that makes your life a little bit easier. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll talk to you next time.